Hey guys, it's your girl Shalana back today with the Pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss increased food stamps. I mean like across the board, but spoiler alert, it won't start until October. Then we're gonna talk about Pandemic EBT under the age of six. So if you have a child under the age of six, got some details there as well as emergency allotment for the month of May. More states have been included. And then we have some SNAP proposals as well. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family, super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you and I enjoy doing it. Now guys, remember I do have a different schedule, but when things come out, you know I still have to bring them to you. I still have a few slots available for my one-on-one -on -one, as well as if you're not a member of Amazon Prime, what we doing? Like it's May, like you can get stuff from Amazon in less than two hours. If you don't want to pay $5.99, try it for 30 days for free. If you want to go ahead and make the commitment, go ahead and do it. Click the link down below. Alrighty here, guys. So when it comes to pandemic EBT, we know we have regular pandemic EBT for the children that are receiving free or reduced lunch in school. But remember, they had legislation that passed in December where this would be expanded to children under the age of six. Some states have already started implementing. Some states are like, look, it's going to take us a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the states that already are doing pandemic EBT for children, the free or reduced lunch that I already had started. OK. All right. So that is Alabama, Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, D.C., Florida, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, North Mariana Islands. Okay, you came, what's up? How you doing? All right, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, Wisconsin, West Virginia as well. So those are the states. Now, when it comes to the pandemic EBT for children under the age of six, Delaware has started expanding their, <clears throat> their allotment. And they said, hey, as of right now, they are now going to be putting on your cards for children under the age of six. And they're making it retroactive to October 1st of 2020. Now, the first round of benefits is going to be issued on May 6th in Delaware. And in order for you to get it, it says the child is a member of a household that receives SNAP benefits at any time since October 1st of 2020. And the child lives in an area where one or more schools were closed with operating reduced hours due to the pandemic. Now, and they also said that pandemic EBT, the schedule in Delaware. So the first will be loaded. If you're going to get those extra benefits, don't forget the first one is going to be loaded on May 6th. And then they said that would cover for October and November of 2020. Your next allotment will be on May 20th, and that's going to cover for December and January. Your next allotment will be June 3rd, and that will cover from February and March of 2021. And then you'll get another allotment June 24th, and that would be for April and May of 2021. And then you'll get an allotment on June 8th excuse me, July 8th, and that would be for June of 2021. So they said, hey, pretty much the way that they're paying you is kind of going to be like a month behind. Don't forget as well with SNAP benefits, it has been expanded all throughout the summer. So you still should be able to receive your pandemic EBT as well. So, and I'll be monitoring that for children under the age of six. Nonetheless, if you have a SNAP card or a previously pandemic EBT card, y'all just check it. Like check your cards because they are constantly putting money on them and you never know what you may get. Okay. All right. Moving along the emergency allotments for the month of May for the states. We have Alabama. I'm just happy roadside, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Kentucky, Maryland, Mississippi, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Washington, Wisconsin, Wyoming, and Texas. Now, remember, you can always check the Fresh EBT app and they will give you a date as well. If your state was not called, Alabama is going to pay out on May 31st. Florida is going to pay out on May 8th. 
Georgia is going to be the 24th of May through the 30th of May. Hawaii, June 14th. Kentucky, May 2nd through the 19th. Maryland is going to be May 1st through the 31st. Mississippi, May 2nd. New Jersey, the 1st through the 5th of May. North Carolina is going to run for 10, for 10 days, May 22nd through May 31st. Oregon is going to pay out May 10th, May 27th, and then June 1st. Rhode Island, May 3rd. South Carolina, May 1st through the 19th. Texas did not have a date just yet. It was just approved today, like a few hours ago. Virginia, May 16th. Washington is sometime in May. It's going to be with your regular schedule. Wisconsin, May 22nd. Wyoming, anywhere from the 2nd through the 5th of May. So that's what we have going on. Now, according to word on the street, okay, my darling, word on the street is President Joe Biden is on the low, quietly preparing for a food stamp increase without Congress. So the Biden administration right now is looking to increase long-term aid for millions of households due to the whole pandemic. So like anti-hunger advocates have argued that the $22 of food a day budget that they give out is inadequate, it's outdated, it's unrealistic, that they said most families over eat over five pounds of beans a week. So now it's caused like everyone start looking into this, what can we do? Now they said that President Biden has ordered a review of the thrifty food plan two days after he took office. And so his initial plan was to do like the 15% increase and try to get it to run to September. And we know October 1st is the new fiscal year. And then they said when October 1st come, he wants to do a 20% increase or a $136 a month increase and maximum benefits for a family of four. I mean, he's going to do it for everyone, but that would be like the max, the family of four on there. So don't know, but as of right now, they said, hey, they are expecting a timeline to go in and review it, but he does want to increase across the board um, 20% or $136. So, hey, I mean, you might be getting some more money come after September as well. So I'll keep you posted on that to see what's going on. While you at it, go ahead and get the Amazon light. Pause the video, go get you some Amazon or get my book. All right, so moving along, some of the proposals that are happening right now is states are doing where they want to expand food stamp benefits as well. And in Nebraska, they are considering a bill that's called Legislative Bill 108 to help working families that have been hit by this pandemic. And so they're like, hey, a lot of working families don't qualify right now. And they're going to the food banks and the food banks are like, look, we can't support this every single day. They said for every meal provided by a food bank in the United States, there are nine additional meals that could be provided by the food stamp program. So on there, they want to go ahead and look at who gets promotions and pay increase and see what's going on and see if they can adjust the level of pretty much like expand, they said the poverty level or the percentage. So instead of it being at 130%, maybe expand it to 185%. Now, some people are saying that if you do that, people won't want to go to work, but they're saying, hey, you know, it's hard for people to work, pay bills. And even though they're making a certain amount at their job, they're still not making enough to put food on their table. So that's one of the proposals that's going on in Nebraska. In Illinois, they did approve to go ahead and extend 10F benefits to people with drug felony records. So remember this happened, I think like during the Clinton administration. Oh, that was a good era in the nineties. But okay, so they're stating as of right now, where I think back then in like 96, 97, around that time, they had where people with drug felony records would not be able to get food stamps or even get 10F benefits. But now they have started to change their mind, especially in regards to cannabis and other drugs, because a lot of states have it where it has been approved for medicinal uses and different things on there. And they said, Illinois seems to be a forgiving state. And right now this is an opportunity to go ahead and embrace this bill. And so they said they want to go ahead and extend it for people that had drug felonies as well, which I mean, hey, they got to eat as well. So that's what we have going on in the world of EBT. Don't forget that colleges still have it now where if a student is attending school, they do qualify for food stamp benefits as long as they have a family contribution of zero dollars on the FAFSA. Then we also have in North Carolina where the Food Lion has expanded their benefits 
where they accept your EBT card where you can order your groceries and pick them up curbside or get them delivered as well. So it's a lot of things going on in the lovely world of EBT. That's all I have for today. Of course, my new schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I had to come give it to you today right and then i'm gonna go exercise so guys let me know what are you thinking about some of the content that's being put on here um my video yesterday did very well when i was showing what do youtubers really make and i always tell you guys that if you are even interested in starting the channel just a little inkling like you're interested it may be something that you want to consider because it can be very lucrative but it is very 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 hard work, my darling, but my book helps you. So that's all I got. Please like, comment, subscribe, get you some Amazon, purchase my book, catch up on some other videos. And literally tomorrow is a regular posting schedule day. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.